What's up, nerds? My name is Corey Bergeron, and you are watching Corey Bergeron Recordings. This past week, I had the opportunity to get out of Ottawa and to help my friends in a band called Heavy Hearts record three songs with a Juno award-winning producer named Julius Buddy. Julius Buddy is known for doing the Alexis on Fire records, uh, Protest the Hero, City in Color, the list goes on. He is also the proud owner of a studio called The Ark Recording Studio, a studio he built in his backyard over the course of two years, and it is a phenomenal studio. So, uh, during this process of helping Heavy Hearts, I, uh, I recorded it. I tried to tried my best to document it. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. Where are we going? We are going to right. Niagara on the Lake to meet up with Heavy Hearts. Everyone in Heavy Hearts, I can't wait to see you. <laughs> Where are we going? Niagara on the lake. Here we go. Here we go. What's going on, internet? So Joey and myself, we're going to the Niagara on the lake region to meet up with our friends in a band called Heavy Hearts. We recorded, am I allowed to talk about the album? I gotta... Okay, so we recorded an album back in March with yeah Heavy Hearts and we've worked with them before. Once we completed the album, they submitted it to their label. The label thought it was really cool and they thought some of the songs had radio potential and they uh, they wanted to explore that option. So they actually uh, gave the band the option to take three of the songs that we recorded and redo them with uh, like a Juno award-winning producer that focuses on that kind of stuff that's worked with some massive bands. I believe Alexis on Fire is one of the bands. And then the band brought that up to me, and they thought that I was going to be like worried or scared or like offended that that was even an option, but I was stoked on it, and uh, I think the first thing I said was, let me come, let me join, let me watch. So uh, that's what we're doing. So I'm driving right now with Joey, or Joey's actually driving, driving. and um, we're going from Ottawa to Niagara-on-the-Lake to meet up with the band, and then from there, I think starting tomorrow is the first day of pre-production. Yeah. So we're working on three songs over the course of the next week to 10 days, there's a couple days off within there. Um, to be completely honest, I have <laughs> a very uh, small idea of what's going on. Or I'm not really totally aware of what's going on because I've been kind of busy leading up to it, so I'm just kind of following Joey's lead here. Um, but yeah, we are on our way to Niagara on the Lake right now to meet up with Jamie. So, see you there. Blast off. Mission and lift off of the Space Shuttle Discovery, returning to the Space Station. Hey guys, a uh, quick little update here. Uh, Joey put uh, gas in the vehicle like 10 minutes ago and then he went inside to pay. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen him since, so I'm a little worried about my friend. In the arms of the angel. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I was worried about you. That was the longest line. They only had one freaking cash open. Mission and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery returning to the space station. How long have we been flying for? Like at least 13 hours. We made it. We're here with Piper. <laughs> this is the reason why we drove for like 8 hours today. <laughs> Okay, so once we got to Jamie's house, so we drove from Ottawa to Niagara on the Lake. Uh, once we got to Jamie's house, I was pretty tired and did a pretty poor job of explaining what we were doing. But after we got there, we jumped in the band van and we went to their their jam space, which uh, I like to call the Heavy Hearts HQ. I've heard tons of stories about their jam, their jam space, several bands jam there. It's a really, really cool, interesting environment. But yeah, we went there with the purpose of getting their gear, getting it in the van so the following morning we could go to the studio. So uh, here's us doing that, woo! This is the Hearts HQ. This is the HQ, buddy. It's in a little bit of disarray at the moment. Not out of time here. <laughs> this is it? <laughs> Badass. This is where the uh, enemy sleeps. Can we just appreciate all the rugs in there? 
We tried to fill the whole thing up with rugs, but we kind of stopped. Got this one off. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. We're close, but we don't have all the rugs yet. Sure Dude, this is sure awesome. Do. This is like literally the coziest place ever. Yeah, dog. Like you guys made a, a home base. <laughs> we have a loft apartment up there. Yeah, with a TV. Bunch of couches. Joey's bed still made from when he was here last. Nice. Dude. Joey, is this your setup? This is my uh, NASA space uh, Yeah. Dude, I now understand what you mean about the kibasa. Oh, yeah, you, you yeah. <laughs> I just picked up some fresh, this camera's not good for this, this is not wide enough. Some fresh Heavy Hearts merch, got the Flexi, got too deep, got too deep, <laughs> and now, we're still at the jam space. We got the skateboard, we got Joey clearing a pass, and we got some serious speed. He's baby, he's sweeping, he's manual, he's manual. What's up? So today is Monday and we are driving from Niagara on the Lake to Hamilton to go to the studio. Today the plan is a studio session from 12 till 6 p.m. and it's going to be pre-production. So I'm stoked to uh, kind of see the space and kind of see what happens. It's really interesting to be in a recording studio and not be the guy in charge. So I'm excited to learn. I'm excited to observe and uh, kind of take it all in and make an experience out of it. So I will document the ride there and everything that goes down in the studio and I will see you later. Bye bye. Piper, are you excited to go to the studio? Yes? Yes you are. when somebody asks you what you've been up to and you tell them nothing because you don't want to talk to them about it. And then yeah. you're like, no, like, he's in a rock band. <laughs> it's easier to say nothing. It's just easier to go, oh, I've just been hanging out. Corey, where are we going? We're going to pick up Justin, then we're going to Hamilton to the studio. <laughs> Jamie loves the camera. Look natural, Jamie. Look natural. Good morning, Justin. Good morning. You got the front, dude. You got the front. You're a tall guy. Are you sure? We're up to the studio. My hand does a weird shaky thing at this speed. Please speed up. Big bridge, Corey. Ooh. What sound does a horse make? Ooh. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Bees. This is the studio, which is on the same property. I guess that's where he lives, but I'm not gonna film his house. Now is a good time to let you know that this is gonna be a multiple part series. Uh, I spent over a week there as I said at the start of the video, so I have a lot of footage and it would be a lot to cram into one video. So the, f the next video is going to be talking about the recording studio because it really is, it really is beautiful, it really is a work of art. Um, as I mentioned, they spent over two years building it, so I want to do it justice and kind of talk about it. The environment, the gear, uh, just the mindset around it, and uh, what it took to create the studio. So that will be it for, the, uh, for this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And let me know what you think about this type of video. Uh, don't do much, I don't do much vlog style stuff. And that's what this was, and it was a lot of fun. So let me know what you think about it. 
Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned because part two will be coming in the coming days. Live, love, laugh.